Hey Brotherhood Channel, it's your Friday guy Kai and I was going to try to film a quick video while I was waiting for my pizza to get here but it said it just left the store so um yeah I might get a phone call in the middle of this but um well uh sorry my bed's a little messy but basically anyways this week is just kind of like a free week, like a catch-up week, kind of, so um, I did miss a few topics in the past few weeks because of school, so I thought I would talk about one of those. Um, really, I think I'm going to talk about my feelings like about uh, transgender kids tr medically transitioning. It's kind of a scary topic to talk about because I know there's lots of strong feelings on uh, many sides of this this topic and I don't want to like upset anyone with with my views on it so um, just know that these are just my own personal views and they in no way mean that anyone's doing anything right or wrong I don't really think there is like a right or wrong way to approach that that situation well there may be like yeah, it's just, it's a complicated, tricky situation, I think. Um, and I understand the many different points of views on it. So basically, I'm just going to tell my own point of view, which basically stems from my own experiences and, and stuff like that. And that's the best I can do. Um, I think, really, the bigger thing about it is just, like, getting those discussions out there and actually talking about it, because that's the important part of all this so if nothing else I just kind of encourage your own conversations around it uh, especially as you know I don't know who's watching this I don't know if your parents if you are um, around my age 20 or something like that uh, someday some of us may be parents and you just never know and yeah so okay basically again this is tricky and I have to say the biggest thing with, with kids transitioning that I would like to like stop seeing is the misinformation, the news stories that are put out that are just made with like certain headlines or they just want to like catch your attention and cause anger and stuff like that. And that's basically like news articles that are saying like parents are being forced to allow their kids to to medically transition or like allow their kids to undergo um, hormones and stuff like that and I think the main thing is at least and I could be wrong I haven't like researched this extensively but at least in my experience I've never seen a time where kids like like nine-year-old kids seven-year-old kids eight-year-old kids are actually being put on like hormones um, like put on testosterone or put on um, estrogen or getting surgery to like change things. I've never seen anything realistically about kids that young getting any kind of treatment like that. I've seen news articles that make it vaguely, like they make it very vague and they make it sound like that's what's happening. Um, and that's what I hate because that's just, that doesn't like help anyone that makes people angry, that makes people um, have the wrong idea about transitioning and, and all that stuff. Uh, what I have heard of is hormone blockers and we don't know, I mean, I don't know exactly how hormone blockers affect people, affect kids. I've never been on hormone blockers. I know uh, that hormone blockers are definitely a lot um, as far as we know, as far as I know, if, and you can definitely correct me with uh, if I'm wrong, and I'd love to see like sources on that too, so I can do my own research. But as far as I know, I believe hormone blockers are much safer than than um, like hormones, and going on hormone blockers doesn't have any real large bad effects that. Um, I'm aware of or or that research has shown I believe and also if someone goes on hormone blockers and then decides to go off hormone blockers I believe 
your body would kind of then start to go through the natural puberty. It's not like something that changes some things forever, basically. And based on the knowledge I have and what I know about it, and until I see some real credible sources that prove me wrong, I don't really have a problem with kids going on hormone blockers. I, if I were, could go back and I were a kid and I understood being trans and like my options and stuff, I probably would want to go on hormone blockers because there were a lot of things about puberty that were very uh, difficult for me. And I think that could have helped a lot with my depression and, and all that stuff. But looking back now from, from where I am and like being in a better place and having gone through everything I've gone through, have, being on testosterone now, having had top surgery, being more comfortable with my body in lots of ways, I'm kind of glad I did experience certain things I experienced. But um, sometimes I do wonder, like, if I had had hormone blockers and then went on testosterone, would I, how would that affect my body? Would I still need, would I still have needed top surgery or, like, even top surgery to the extent that I had top surgery? Um, would I be, be taller because I'm short? <laughs> um, what would it have been like to not really experience a period ever kind of thing? Currently, I'm totally cool with, like, hormone blockers for kids. That's just my personal opinion. Again, there could be more research that comes out in the future. And if that were to happen, I would definitely look into it and uh, make my decision, uh, rethink my decision and kind of revisit my ideas about it then. As far as, like, transitioning, like, like surgery and hormones, I think that definitely has a lot to do with the... The, the child, each individual child, kind of looking at where they are um, mentally, where they are emotionally, where they are like maturity, and um, you know, around 16, 17, depending on the kid, again, uh, I, I would try to encourage waiting until 18 or, or even a little bit older if it were like my own personal kid, but if, you know, I would... I'm not saying that's like set in stone. I would, I would try to base it on the kid and what I know about them and what they're telling me and how I feel um, or, or see their emotional, mental, and maturity levels, basically. Sorry, I'm looking at the, the pizza thing. I'm supposed to be here in five minutes, so I'm going to try to wrap this up. But, um, but yeah, I don't think, no, I don't think that you know, like, 11 year old should be put on testosterone or estrogen or should be getting surgeries and stuff like that. Hormone blockers, I'm okay with that currently. I'd have to revisit that if I learn more about it, but that's just how I feel right now. Um, that being said, I think the biggest thing is just supporting your child with pronouns or supporting children in general, not necessarily just your child, but children with the pronouns they choose, the names they choose, letting them explore their gender identity and, and stuff like that without um, resistance because I think that could have helped a lot with me wanting surgery as soon as I did and wanting testosterone. I think if I had been supported from a younger age and um, not felt like my body was like holding me back from like people seeing who I truly was, that might have changed how I felt about my body and things like that. I'm not saying I would have never gotten top surgery or never gone on hormones, but I think that's the biggest thing and the first step uh, to to all this. And that's what children need the most, I believe. Um, and then you kind of go from there and figure out things from there. And basically, like I said, based on the child, based on a whole bunch of factors, um, I would encourage waiting a little until you're a little bit older but um, it's going to depend. It's not going to be the same in every single situation. So that's basically my feelings about medical transition for kids. I hope I didn't really upset anyone. Um, at the end of the day, each situation is going to be different. And uh, I think most importantly, if you support your child, you support children in general with their gender identity, their gender ex exploration, their pronouns, um, the name, what they like to be called, and stuff like that. Uh, I think that's the like most important thing. So, anyways, my pizza's about to be here, so I'm gonna go on that note. But um, I'm gonna try to catch up on some of the other topics I missed next time. So we have free topics and stuff. I don't know when that will be, but but yeah. 
Um, thank you all for watching this video. I um, hope you all stay strong, stay safe, and stay you. I love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.